Alright boys, well we are back at it, finally. I've had a bit of a lull. I sold the rock crawler, I sold the forerunner, I bought a house, my wife and I bought a house. My wife, I'm married, we got married, we bought a house, and we got a little boy on the way. Motor's excited, I'm excited, but that being said, I sold the rock crawler and I sold the forerunner. If you're unaware, this happened over the winter, my plan was to do something crazy, which because of the aforementioned baby, house, and marriage, got a little bit delayed, but here we are again, and I think I have found just the rig I was looking for to build into my next rock crawler. So right now, I am driving up 80 through Truckee into Reno to take a look at Next project? I guess we'll see. Right, guys well here it is 2011 tacoma quad cab four door short bed 274,000 miles and it's absolutely perfect a little rough around the edges missing some bumper trim a lot of scratches a lot of trail pinstripes faded paint on the hood faded paint on the roof Faded headlights so bad I had to buy new ones. The chrome was peeling off on this grill here, so I peeled it all off and painted it. But I had to do ball joints that were squeaking super bad. The drive shaft center support bearing is bad. Uh, there's a, everything in the front end is loose, but that's perfect for exactly what I want it for. If you remember, I still have my 05 and up one ton axles and i still have the mp205 to a magnum underdrive so here are those 05 and up super duty axles and there in the back corner is my transfer case that's the magnum underdrive right there to an mp205 two-speed transfer case and that front plate is designed for a gm six bolt uh, but there is an advanced adapters adapter plate that will bolt to the Toyota transmission and convert it to fit that perfectly. As a matter of fact, that's it right there. So these are the Super Duty axles, the one tons that we're going to go in the 4Runner. They are now going to go in the Tacoma. Those will both fit in this perfectly. I have to sell the adapter that I bought for the 4Runner but they make another adapter for this truck so I can use that transfer case setup. I got the 05 and up Super Duty axles. I'm gonna go with some sort of three link in the front. Not sure if it's gonna be a combination of MarTech and my own coilover setup or if I'm gonna do my own setup completely. Rockhound off-road is right down the road from my new house. 
So I'm sure I'll be using him for all kinds of stuff. I'll probably end up doing Chevy 63s in the back uh, to start with due to simplicity and they're just a great leaf spring option. But that's it, man. This thing is absolutely perfect. It's going to be my family crawler. Obviously, I'm going to do rock sliders and bumpers. I'm going to cut the bed right here and do a nice big winch bumper. But this thing is just absolutely perfect for what I want it for. It's in great shape. 274,000 miles, and that's it. It's in really great shape overall. It's got all kinds of room. I'm just... The 4 liter, the four liter is amazing. Plenty of power. I got this awesome seat from Cover Kings. Cover this car. Car. What do you call this? Seat cover uh, from Cover Kings. Fits perfectly. It fits. It has the uh, spots for the baby seat when the baby comes. These Tacomas have all kinds of room, storage room everywhere, which I'm super excited about. And they got so much room back here for both the baby seat and the puppy when we're off-roading. So I could not be happier. This is exactly what I wanted. And when I got it, I didn't realize how perfect it was gonna be for exactly what I want. Eventually I wanna do a mid-height uh, bed cage with a rooftop tent, I think is gonna be the deal once the baby gets here and we want a quick and easy setup for camping. It's going to remain street legal. And now that I am about 45 minutes from Fordyce, where I live, I'm, it's just, I'm, I'm not even going to put it on the trailer. I'm, I'm probably an hour, hour and 15 from the Rubicon and a bunch of other trails. So this thing will get street legal uh, 40s and the one tons. And man, I just cannot wait. I'm really, really short on money at the moment. Uh, so you might say that it was a wild purchase to buy this when I have about uh, half the value of my home in renovations to do and you know I just spent money on this thing but what are you going to do this is going to be our family wheeler baby's coming in October so I hope at that point we can get some camping trips out of it and enjoy it a little bit before it goes under the knife fully for the full tons and 40s conversion I'm not going to do any um, IFS stuff. I'm not going to do any, you know, Bilsteins or coilovers or long travel or mid travel or even I'm not even going to do bigger tires. I'm just, this is the way it's going to live. I've been driving it every day. This thing is reliable. I absolutely love it. And then when the time comes, tons and fodies. But that's it. I just wanted to give you guys a little bit of a walk around of the new truck. I'm still here. I'm still doing stuff. I haven't recorded a video in a while. I've recorded a bunch of videos. I haven't edited and put out a video in a while. That being said, there is still one coming from King of the Hammers. I know that's what, three months ago, four months ago, maybe at this point. Uh, but I am recording all kinds of renovations and uh, house projects and uh, the stuff that I've been up to lately. And I hope that you guys will stick around and watch that stuff and uh, enjoy it as much as I've enjoyed doing it. This chicken coop was one of the things that I built so that we can house our chickens when we moved up here. Doing all kinds of stuff inside the house. I got my garage here that needs to be organized big time. All kinds of land clearing and uh, clearing these pricker bushes and blackberries and this tree fell down. I gotta take this tree down building a little bit of a plywood tent for my mom to stay in for the summer so a lot of stuff going on but thanks for watching guys thanks for being patient staying with me a um, couple of new people have been showing up and i appreciate it i'm gonna get more and more regular as time goes on i am not working right now i am just working on the house sprinkled in with some car stuff and i hope you guys stick around for those videos because they're going to be great. They're going to be really cool. And that's what I'm up to right now. So, all right, guys, here it is. This is the truck. I might, I'm definitely going to try my hand at painting. I'm going to try to repaint the roof and the hood. And then hopefully at some point buff all this stuff out. Just like a lot of little stuff. 
lot of trail pinstripes. I don't know how much of this will come out, but hopefully some of it. Either way though, this truck is in great shape. Unbelievable. Everything underneath is absolutely wrecked. Suspension is loose as, loose as a goose, but there's no rust. Truck came out of Reno. <clears throat> and it's just absolutely perfect for what I need. It's going to be a complete Cadillac on the trail and hopefully serve me well for years to come with the kid and the wife and the dog and maybe another dog and probably another kid and you know yada yada but that's it guys that's all I got for you today I hope that you are having a good summer and you'll stick around for the next video all right boys we'll see you next time